This is the XLVAN Q8 action camera. There are three modes. There's video mode, the still mode, and the slow motion mode. And then your other menu is your gallery and your settings. Video resolution, press OK, choose a resolution, Just press the menu button to get to the exit. Recording is quite simple. You just press the OK button. And a red light starts to flash and the count increases. And a red light starts to flash and the count increases. I want to show you how to do a time lapse film. So navigate the screen to where the little camera is and press the OK button on the top. And you go to time lapse. And to switch the time lapse off, press close or select the interval in seconds. Goes up to 60 seconds. So I'm going to try an interval of one second. So you can see where your screen you're on time lapse at 4K resolution. So all you do then is press the menu button to get to the exit. So at video mode, we can set up, you can see the little symbol saying we're doing a time lapse. This is taking time lapse video, and you see a little red light coming on to say it's recording. To access the still modes menu, first of all access the main menu, press the OK button and navigate with the menu button on the side to the picture of the stills camera. And here you can see there are four options here. The first one is resolution. If you press OK you can see you can get resolutions from two all the way to 16 megapixels. I've selected here 8. The time mode when set to closed is off and this takes a picture after the specified number of seconds all the way up to 20 seconds. The auto mode takes pictures after the specified number of seconds repeatedly so it takes for example, a picture every 3 seconds, or every 10 seconds, or every 15 seconds, or every 20 seconds. Drama Shoot takes a series of pictures in rapid succession, like an old motor drive on an SLR camera. And it takes out 3, 5, 10 pictures. So let's have a look at the Drama Shoot and go for five pictures and see how that works. So you go to the exit menu and you go to second menu along which is your stills camera mode. You press the shutter and you get five pictures in rapid succession. Slow motion mode is accessed through the third screen along for the settings go to the video camera setting and at the bottom there's a slow motion setting and you've got two settings for slow motion you can have 1080p at 60 frames per second gives half speed or 720p at 120 frames per second gives a quarter speed 
So this is normal speed. This is half speed at 1080p. And this is a quarter speed at 720p. These are all quarter speed clips. The zoom function is a hidden function in this camera, it's not well advertised. It's access through the side buttons. Top button zoom in and the bottom button zoom out. As you can see here where the arrow is, it shows you the zoom amount from one to four times zoom. It's good for getting rid of fisheye distortion you get with a wide angle lens, but as you zoom in closer you see that the resolution is not good. And at four times resolution it's not good at all. The same is also true of the stills. With the two megapixel resolution stills the images are fine. But as you increase the resolution, the image quality starts to suffer. So I'd recommend not using anything higher than 8 megapixels for your stills. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this useful. Remember to subscribe for more videos, time lapses, didgeridoo videos, of course the Funky Fish videos.